Hey guys and welcome to Flame Spark. Today we are talking about the new Dota 2 card game Artifact. So if you haven't seen it already, here's the trailer. Basically, what I want to address today is the fact that this game could revolutionise the trading ga card game genre on PCs because currently the trading card game market it consists of Hearthstone, uh, Gwent, uh, Magic, The Gathering online but they're all CCG, uh, collectible card games. They're not true trading card games. Whereas Valve has the trading system and the market, they can take advantage of that for this new card game. You could, if they go along with using the trading system, you can actually go back to the days of like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards. It's it creates a new playing field, and what I feel is there's not going to be as much microtransactions that than like Hearthstone and uh, Magic the Gathering like. Hearthstone, you have, you have to pay extortionate amount of money for all these shitty cards and like, you might not even get the ones you want and then you have to dust them and then you can craft the cards you want but still they cost tons and there's a rotation system so you could have buy all the stuff in one year and then a couple of years down the line all that stuff's pointless to take you're going to have to dust it all to make the new cards but then this constant you have to pump money into Hearthstone to to effectively play good in it whereas I see Artifact as a if they can do the trading system then people can actually get the cards they want trade like oh I've got let's say this Bloodseeker card and I want to trade it for a uh, Terror Blade card like they might be similar rarities they might have different skins or powers and it, it just adds to the trading card game sort of feel like what back when you used to have to do it in person like with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards like oh I have this uh, Piplup uh, I want your Charmander uh, like with all the foil cards and the I don't see why people are having a level of ignorance towards that game like it's not even released yet we haven't seen gameplay yet and Valve are making a game like I don't see why people are complaining oh I want Half-Life 3 oh Left 4 Dead 3 this is connected to the Dota universe and here's a tweet by Steve one of the writers for um, Artifact and he even says that there's going to be more lore in Artifact to further expand, expand the Dota universe I can see this as a mutual like connection between the two games. Like you might not have enough time to play a full Dota, Dota game, so oh, I'll just play the card game. It adds to the Dota universe. I I know it's not like the highly anticipated Half-Life 3, but yeah, you have to give Valve credit for trying to expand the story and the lore of Dota 2. People don't like Dota 2. You don't you don't have to play the game. This this is a way of Valve trying to appeal to. A new audience who can't really get to the learning curve of Dota 2 but, but still experience that story and all the characters and sort of the mechanics like the trading card games I mean they, they, they they're a bit more easier to start playing whereas Dota like it, it has got a really steep learning curve you have to play for a solid sort of like 100 hours before you can actually start to play the game how it is meant to be like I have 1,400 hours in it and I'm still not even good like I, I've known people with 3,000 hours and they're still they're still bad but the trading card games they're easy like what I'm hearing about Artifact is that it's it's gonna have three lanes or three sections and it, I just really like their concept and idea I, 
you have these reviewers and people on Twitter or, and Reddit going, oh, it's just going to be another Hearthstone clone. I was going to, Valve just want money. But it's not about that. Valve are trying to further develop the Dota 2 universe and develop a card game which could maybe intertwine with the actual game itself. Maybe, maybe they'll add later on down the line. Maybe they'll add like a fantasy um, team thing in the Dota card games that you could like place RTZ against um, Miracle or something. <laughs> that, that could be a little fun thing to do, maybe for like April Fools or something. But it's a breath of fresh air for the Dota, uh, for the Valve sort of portfolio. You've got your first person shooters, your MOBA, your your team versus team battle things. This, I, people have to just be open minded. They, they're, they're just looking at it as a tunnel. Oh, they should have made Half Life 3 instead. Oh, they shouldn't be trying to compete with the market. But if they use the trading system and the market system, then it can revolutionize trading card games online. People will play um, Artifact instead of Hearthstone because Hearthstone is incredibly pay to win. If you can trade stuff and buy stuff, um, like skins and stuff for Artifact on the market and trade. Cards, it's like, it eliminates that pay to win factor. You, you you just need a few friends and be like, oh, I really like that card. Can I trade this card for it? And then we're like, oh yeah, I really want that card as well. It's it's not a collectible card game. It like it could be absolutely amazing, but we'll have to see. In 2018, I've been the Flaming Spark. I hope you like this sort of like discussion slash rant video. I I'm myself looking f very forward to this game. Some of my friends are skeptical. Lots of people off on Twitter and Reddit are skeptical. But just give them a chance. Don't don't be harsh on them. Like they're, they're game creators. Like they can create the games they want to create. How it didn't stop like Sean Murray. He he wanted to make his dream come true. But still people are disappointed. I enjoyed the game. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.